Welcome to the Rome Life Show. This week we're going to dive into the sports world. We want to talk about how black athletes are covered versus how white athletes are covered. Is it racism? Is it due to what sports they playing? What, what, you know, we don't see what it can be. But, you know, I always got some facts to give so everybody can see kind of both sides of the story. So, and I got my homeboy, Mario, my back co-host, in. finally oh. back. You know, he's been waxing his wife car for the last two weeks, <laughs> lying to me and Kurt about he had surgery and shit. You know, what's going on with you, baby? Oh, man. Pleasure to be back man. on the show, man. Man, about damn time. Had me over here winging it, man. man, man. Leave me on my own. I had to do what the wife tell me to do, man. Oh, I hear you on that. I hear you on that. So, first of all, I want to get into, I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about, Kurt Busch. I know a lot of y'all heard about what's going on with Kurt Busch. Maybe not. I just found out, what, a couple of weeks ago, back in September, he um, took his girlfriend's face and slammed it against the wall a few times during September 26th through the 28th weekend at one of those um, NASCAR um, one of those NASCAR race Races. events down in Charlotte. Wow. And I didn't. You knew something about that? Nope. Never heard of it. It's the first time since you saying it. Uh, you lying. I, I mean, that. NASCAR just suspended him for a race. He pulled a race today. Wow. So he's been racing all the way up. They say to due time. to he was appealing and legal stuff. Stuff we but, never heard about. Right. But they allowed him still to get down. So. That's uh, bullshit. That's bullshit? Yes. Yeah, I call that bullshit. <laughs> Straight up. So I'm just saying. I don't know. I mean, and then um, last October... NASCAR also let a um, Travis K V A P I L Cavalpool, whatever, he was arrested and charged with false imprisonment, assault after a domestic violence situation, and he's still racing. But one thing about one thing about NASCAR, I think it's like the biggest sport. Biggest it's the biggest sport out, like like far as so, the followers. So they they gonna hide all that. They're gonna they going they gonna make sure that that because that's mostly a predominantly white sport. So, right. So, do you think they hide it because it's a big sport or you hide it because it's predominantly white? I'd say both. But, 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 but the predominantly white is a big factor. It's a big factor? It's a big factor, right. Because, you know, that's, that's the most sport that's sponsored by, most, by everybody. Exactly. And they don't want to lose the sponsors the money. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to lose the sponsors. And sponsors want to keep on. And, and since that's the biggest sport, sponsors want to keep on putting their money into it. So, of course, they're going to hush it up. Right. And sponsors didn't say nothing exactly. until it came out to the media. I mean, ESPN let it go across the ticker. Well, you know what else? They, it's yeah. all on, you know. Yeah. So. And then another um, I want to talk about is um, um, Richard Incognito. What about him? He back? Yeah. Signed with the Buffalo Bills. You knew that? No, I didn't even know that. Okay. Um, well, you heard about Greg Hardy, right? I heard about Greg Hardy. Okay. Well, on ESPN Live last week, I was watching on NFL Live on ESPN. I was watching, and they was talking about any team that signed him will be taking a big risk because he's a threat to the community, to a locker room. Now he ain't been in trouble once mm-hmm. for domestic violence, just like Ray Rice, just like uh, uh, that uh, Freeman, Josh Freeman, mm-hmm. only once, but. Um, your boy Richie Cognito got a long list history. Not, yeah, long, long list. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some of the stuff that he did. I'm gonna, let me tell you right now. Um, from college, he went to Nebraska. He spit on a player. He was arrested after a fight after a blowout against Penn State. He got um, into a another. He got into another um, alteration and was suspended indefinitely by the program. He left there, went to Oregon, only lasted one week. Drafted by the Ram. He was voted the most nastiest player in the football league. He was benched twice from the Rams for anger, anger issues. He was released. The Bills picked him up. He played three games. They let him go. Miami picked him up. In a preseason tournament, he assaulted a young lady. Well, you know, claimed yeah. to assault a young lady. Next, he, then he was kicked off the team for the bullying situation. Mm-hmm. Then he beat his car up with a golf uh, club, his Porsche. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Then that, he checked that. into a rehab. It must have been the same golf club with Tiger Woods' wife here. <laughs> <laughs> she let him borrow that. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> right. And then he got, now he signed with the Bills. But you didn't hear nobody saying he's a threat to the community. No, and he had no, a long track record of anger in, in fact, you know what's funny? I'm in a group, a Raiders group, and it was, 
it was people in that group begging that we signed him. And now, what would you say? You know? I, I was saying, why? Why would you know? I was the only one saying, why would we sign him? And it's funny that this, this this is funny. It was a white girl that was in the group, mm -hmm. and the same post came up about Greg Hardy. Right. She said, I would never support him. I would never support him. And why? And then she got so mad that that people were talking about, well, he needs a second chance at life. She got so mad, she deleted herself out of the group. Wow. I mean, I believe people deserve a second chance, but. Why they so gets every black player getting a second chance? That's what like but okay, take Kurt Bush. Where are the women groups at? Nobody's saying nothing. This white lady don't deserve no support? Right. They feel Ray White, you know, white need all the support. support. Why why none speaking out on her? And it, 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 just, just just keep it real, it's race. I mean, yeah, but when you say that they always say, Yo, you're playing a race card. Yeah, that's because they want you to they, they want you to keep that. That's just like this is what I say about like like the N word. Mm-hmm. Um, white people are against it or, and want to get rid of it because they can't say it. If they was able to say it, they wouldn't care about it. But well, like, like when they first started saying, yeah, it back when they first started saying it back, it was cool. They were tripping on. Yeah. They wanted to keep it. Right. Up. It wouldn't be no big deal of anybody saying the n word if they can use it freely, like like we do. Like we do. Yeah, I feel you on that. So with the whole situation, then, so with Richard getting another job, do you think Ray Rice can get picked up this off season? I hope he do, but I don't. I don't really see it happening. I don't really see it happening. I think you know it's just like it's just like he would need he would need somebody like Tony Dungy, uh, uh, somebody that the NFL respect to come uh, mentor him. You know, but why he need all this mentor to get back in the game? I personally when think Richie, he, Car uh, Richie and Carnito didn't need all that. I personally think he don't. You know, I, I, I'm 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 against all that. I think he should just be admitted right right back right right back in. You know, his wife admitted him back into the relationship after she <laughs> after, he, after she knocked. The, I mean, after hey, he knocked her out. She said so, he was the best um, husband. Yeah, so I mean, she, she that that's, that that ain't the first time that happened between them two. We, oh, you know, that that's that that's neither here or there. But um, I think that um, he should be reinstated. But I just think it's going to be a hell of a process to get him reinstated because, you know, like, like I said, it's the color thing. It's always got to make us look bad. So do you think black people as a whole had just settled for just getting settled for bad treatment? Because, like, it's almost like we know it's bullshit. We know it's race. You know, race play a big role. But we will make it like, man, just how it is. Well, to be honest with you, in my personal opinion, I think that has something to do with the civil rights movement. Uh, and the w w reason why I say that is because we were, we were taught to be forgiven. We were taught to not fight back. We were taught to, uh, uh, you know, take the beatings and mm -hmm. things like that. So that was pounded in our, in our head to do that. So it, it just lives on. It li lives on through us. You know, everybody, everybody's excuse is, is uh, you know, uh, always just back down, basically. Just back right. down let people do whatever they want to do to you. Right. Cause, you know, because I had people tell me, that this one guy tell me, the white guy. In my partner, he told me, he said, Jerome, it's the difference in sports. NASCAR don't get covered, so that's why they could do what they want to do, and the news people don't report it, the ESPN, the CNN. But the NFL is a bigger sport, which I disagree. Like you said, I, NASCAR, to me, is bigger than an NFL. Well, they promote them wrecking. They, 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 they show that all on TV. They, they, they show them fighting. Yeah. They, they show them pushing each other and stuff right. like that. So why can't you, you show the, the, uh, the human mistakes they make? Oh, yeah, you're right about that. So basically, they full of shit. Right. What people say. Exactly. So, so you don't buy into all don't that. Don't buy it, it's, it's, uh, No matter what sport you play, domestic violence is domestic violence. And it should be covered the same way you cover every other one. Even the even the uh, soccer player, I forget her name. Uh, oh, I know uh, you're talking she about. She had domestic violence, too. Mm -hmm. And um, she didn't get suspended for a long time. She didn't get, she, I think she beat her, uh, it's still domestic violence. I think she beat her auntie or cousin or something right. like that up. And um, had some issues with her husband or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. She had an issue with her husband? Yeah, she has some issues no, with her husband. I, well, I do her husband. I think it was her, uh, it, it her was sister. sister. Okay. Yeah, it was her sister. She whooped on her sister um, or something like that. And, and she was able to play and all that kind of stuff. But then they finally... But it was swept up under the rug. And she even got some... Uh, some pictures that I like. I like them, though. They <laughs> <laughs> you see in the cloud, Lee, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, well, that note, we'll be right back after these few messages. Peace.
Welcome back. All right, so now I want to switch gears a little, switch um, sports. I want to go into golf and our boy Tiger Woods. Mm. What's going on with T. Woods, baby? White women. See, to me, <laughs> I don't think he got enough white women, to be honest. I don't be honest, because, be honest, if we be honest men, men don't settle down until we ready to settle down. Mm-hmm. And Tiger Woods wasn't ready to settle down. He had 15 white blonde women that was porn stars and... Freaky oh. deaky and everything. Yeah. Now you down to one woman trying to be this pretty, you know, I'm this changed man. And I think that's messing up his game. He ain't happy. We ain't happy eternal. Nothing you do external would be right. I don't care how much you practice at it. If you ain't happy within, everything on the outside, and golf especially, is a mental game. And he over thinking about a, a freaky episode and missing one of his <laughs> one of his porn star girls or something. Well, that's what my opinion on what's wrong in this game. What you think? Mine's a little bit deeper. I'm, I'm gonna go with the conspiracy theory thing. What? I I, I think that Tiger's being paid to lose. I, I just I, I just I just don't nah. think you get I just don't think you get that weak that fast. There's no way you can just turn around and get weak that fast. I think he's getting paid off to lose, man. That's just nah. my personal opinion. I just think he's hella horny. <laughs> he he, when he lost. He's down fifteen women. I mean fourteen women. You ain't got what? I it, here's why. Here's my here's what reason why. Nike, one of the biggest corporations there is, having dropped him. Yeah, true. He still got his video game. He still he he got. Every, he lost some sponsors. Though, he lost right? some sponsors, but it, but but I mean, I mean, he's still the face of golf. No matter what, no matter what he does, he's still the face of golf. They they trying to replace him with the other cat. I, I don't follow golf too much. I forget the other cat name. Um, but but he's, it's a white boy. Oh yeah, I know you're talking he's, about. He's um, a younger dude. Right? Yeah, I know you're talking he about. He just didn't make the cut. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, he j- he just didn't make the cut this weekend. So, but it's who did it. Tiger? Or the other no, the other guy. Uh, the other guy didn't make the cut. Court? Yeah, but if Tiger wouldn't have made the cut, it would have been it would have been blasted all over all over all over the, all over the uh, station, and then they would have interviewed him. I mean, I just Tiger. can't see as a uh, as an athlete myself. I can't see somebody just get just throwing. A, he threw finna break Jack Nicholson record, and that's what they don't want him to do. That's why. That's that's just so. So you know. Accept some money. He's already close to a billion dollars before he had to pay Man, his ex-wife. Rude. Like we already know, money is root of all evil. So, I, I, man. So you think he took a payout to play the rest of his career bad? To just mess up his hey, as much as I love you, the, the, the guest I was here two weeks ago, my, my buddy Kurt Henry, uh-huh. if he paid me five million to shoot you in the leg, I'm blasting you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, that's fucked up, man. That's, that's fucked what, up, man. Well, I, I guess from there, since I see I ain't your partner, we're going to the big old fight then. This we got coming up with Floyd and Manny. What you thinking about that? Man, about time. About time. Um, I just, I want to see a good fight. I, I, uh, I can say I'm going to be biased. I'm a big Floyd fan. I'm a boxing fan. I like Pacquiao and mm-hmm. and uh, Mayweather. I'm gonna be biased and 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 I'm going. I'm gonna go my skill skill trade. I'm going with Mayweather. Mm-hmm. Who can get knocked out is he is is who can do the knocking out is is uh, not Floyd uh, Manny 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 can do if he get caught one good time he can get uh he can floor floor uh uh uh, uh Floyd. Uh, my thing is with that Floyd is just a boxing technician man. He's 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 he know he's all around. He know he know the sport of boxing, and and don't get me wrong. I'm not one of them dudes that just think that Mayweather is this and, uh, and that and this and this and that and like everybody else do. I look at the whole big picture. I want him to lose. I want to lose well, one. I want make, uh, not this fight. Not this fight. I want him to wait, wait, wait. I want wait, to lose one wait. time. I thought you was against this, um, the conspiracy theory because you know he's on track to tie. Uh, the record, because you know, the record is forty nine and zero by what? Mar- Marciano is forty nine and forty nine and zero. Me wanting to two lose, more fights, he can tie that. Me wanting to lose was a personal thing. It had nothing to do with that. My, wow. my, because what he said about Muhammad Ali. What he, he said? He was like Muhammad Ali at the greatest. I am. You know, he was saying some stuff. I mean, if you go by the stats, he's telling the truth. Muhammad yeah. Ali, lo- he ain't lost. So yeah, you but, can't take that away. Yeah, it was, but I. This is just me. I just want him to get humbled one time. One, I mean, I, but that I don't see how that's not being a humble statement. If he's saying I'm the greatest, if you go by just records, take everything out the picture, all his flashiness, all the other bullshit he do, just go off his records alone. How can you sit there and say he's not the greatest? I, I don't dis, I don't disagree, but what I how he used Muhammad Ali to make his statement is what I don't like. Because I, they, I, maybe was it because they consider Muhammad Ali the greatest, so he figured he need to say I'm better than him. Muhammad. I, Here's the thing. Here's what I tell people: Floyd Muhammad Ali is sort of, sort of on the same level. It's just a different, just a different time area. 
But what I'm saying, what I'm saying by that is Muhammad Ali did things purposely for people to hate him. Mm-hmm. The more people hate you, the more the more publicity and the more more famous you become and in, in, in money too. You you get more money. So Floyd knows what he, what he he playing people to 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 make make like he he this evil person, he this disrespectful dude, but that's all a game. It's all a game to make you come come to make you say, right. You once you hate somebody, you want to see him lose. Right. So you're gonna buy the pay per view. You gonna you gonna tune into whatever he, whatever he doing. It's, that's, that's, I mean, I heard people make that argument. I heard someone tell me today that they don't like Floyd because he don't give back. But I know Floyd do give yeah, back. Yeah, he, yeah, he gives. But back. he just what I don't like is that black people whatever it is a taboo to brag on what we give back. But we can brag on the car, the chain. I mean, he quick to show his stack every time. Yeah, that's just but like, he won't talk about his charity work. That's just like what people tell me. What people say to me. Well, what have you done for you? A com- you a comedian? What have you done for the community? I tell them, man, my kids ain't bad. That's what I deal with the community. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tearing the community up. How about that? I raise my kids to do the right thing. You know, uh, you can't you can't just 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 expect somebody to uh, to give out all this money and time and stuff. You know, people people. You know, you do what you can. You do what you can. I'm not saying Floyd can't is not able to do this and do that, but I mean, come on, man. People, mm-hmm. people kill me with all with all, all that craziness. I mean, so do you? So you do you think though that like athletes and actors they should put out more of what they do for the black community? Because when soon they make one mistake, it's all over the news, everywhere. So shouldn't they promote the positive? Because the positive and negative go hand in hand. But if you never talk about your positive, and then once you do something wrong, and that's the only thing that's out of the negative, that's all people gonna judge you off now. It's just that one sided. But now, so now everything that you try to spot out is positive. They think you're just doing it to clean up your image. I think what you, I think when you do positive things, you know, when you do positive things, I mean, you don't have to promote. I don't, I don't think it's necessary to promote it. People gonna see what you do. You know, people gonna know know what you do. That's just we already know how media get down. Um, you know, but media will. We know how they get down, but knowing how they get down, that's why I feel like we need to promote more positive things that we do. So when they do do their little scandalous shit, no, they I, do. I'm for I'm for that, but I'm just I'm I'm, I'm saying like if Marshawn Lynch throws throws a, a a charity event, I don't think he should get on ESPN and say, yeah, I just do it. Let y'all know I just do an event, and you know what I'm saying I'm all about that uh, events, boss. You know, right. something like that. I, I don't. I, I don't think wh- whatever he do. I, I think it's cool for media to be there and mm-hmm. see it. Mm-hmm. Never, and, and, it's, and, and I think it's all right for them to to put it on TV. But if they don't, then they don't. You see, now I'm tell you why I disagree with you on that. The reason why I disagree with you on that, I would love them to go on, on ESPN and tell them, yeah, I just do a charity event because we are copycat people. Yeah. If you make giving back cool, everybody will be giving back. Just like they make drinking syrup was cool, blunts. All these want to do right here want to be killers and all these. I mean, I mean, whatever you promote is what people try to aspire to be. So we try to promote more positive stuff. More people will feel, oh, I could do something good too. But right now, that's you, one of the hardest things to to for far as uh the cat for people to catch on is giving back, man. That's that's wow. That's just that's just nature. This is how people is. Well, it's, it's, it's a dude owe me five dollars right now. <laughs> you know what I'm he ain't giving back. Yeah, from 1989. You know what I'm saying? I see the dude all the time posting pictures on Facebook with money. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, so, can I get that five bucks you owe me? Right. <laughs> you so, stupid. Dude. <laughs> so, I, but I I, I I I agree with you on on your on your points. I I, I do um, agree with that. But um, it's just, it just be hard. It's just gonna be hard. It would be hard a task to pull off. I mean, why is it so hard for us to do it, but yet other races can do it, and it's not hard for them? I, I think I, I think for sure that our our people do it. It's just not like you said. It's just not promoted. It's just not put on TV because we don't promote it. Yeah, when we on TV and got the opportunity to promote it, we don't. You know, who we do a good job of promoting. Well, let's just say, not all sports are good with it, but NBA is good with it. NBA um, is always talking about um, the black basketball players doing something for the community, even showing it on TV and stuff like that. So now, it, I think it's based have, on. Have, have you ever seen or are you know anyone who's been a part of a program that the NBA did, like far as the Warriors, anything in the Bay Area that the Leon Poe? No, no, I'm talking about. Oh. I, um, I'm talking about like from the you know they show the NBA show. Stephen Curry and them giving back. Hey, uh, you know anybody who benefited from? Oh no, no. I, so I'm could that just be a, 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 a? We can say that about everything. We can say that about a lot. The of reason stuff. why I ask you that because you say the NBA 
do good, but see, that's an image for the NBA. I'm meaning more so for the black athletes themselves, like Stephen Curry, um, Draymond Green, just make being out there, making it be known. This is what I'm doing. No and matter what, they, no matter my our thing is, no matter what they do, they'll never be able to. I mean, do it like, we, 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 uh, how much money we ready for that ALS ice bucket challenge? Yeah, I'm. Why I, we can't, why we I can't do that? I never that did that. I, I don't. I don't, I don't want to either. I'm yeah, chill. I don't. I don't know if I'm going to hell or not. So I'm gonna say my ice bucket challenge in case I go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that right there, we'll be right back after these few messages. Peace out. All right, welcome back. All right, yeah. Hey, that was some funny, though, right there. <laughs> How, uh, but for real, though, on a real note, though, I just wish we would step up. I mean, because that's what's hurting us, I believe, as a community, that we too humble on giving back, but we boosty as hell on the shit we want to floss on. And I think that is really hurting us bad because it's set, it don't show no unity. Because giving back will show unity, and when we don't do it, it's playing right into the white supremacist system mm -hmm. that they put in place to separate us. So until the rich people and the broke people can, you know, until basically, until the stars can come down to ground level, to where a common man can touch them and relate and get inspired by them, we always, it's always going to be a problem. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know that's 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 just that's our man. That's how they embedded it, embedded it in our head to be as black folks. And we, like I said, we got to get away. Like you said, we got to get away from that to uh, always making excuses of why we can't do this and why we can't do that. Um, you know, the the you you only fail when you stop trying. Right. You know. So um, I, you know, we just got to put more effort in in the black community, and it starts with us. And it, you know, and that's one of these. That's what, that's good about this show. We can talk about it, and people can can uh, look look at it, and hopefully somebody will see this message today and be like, you know, you know what, I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do more. I mean, more. I mean, that's what it's all about. It's like whatever we all have to do the same thing, but yeah. as long as we doing something, something, because we have too many people with college degrees that staying over here, and too many people that don't that staying over here. And I went to a motorcycle party last night, and I always hear you talking shit about motorcycle parties. <laughs> but I went to a motorcycle party last night, and it just it was an older crowd. But I, as I'm sitting there because I'm a college graduate, and I went to a black college, mm -hmm. and I remember going to the frat party, and the motherfuckers stopping the party, who this fucking up the goddamn I'm grooving. Here they yeah, come, yeah. stopping the party, walking through the whole party, doing all that, doing stunts, right? Stuff. So, but then at the um, Motorcycle party, they do the same thing. You know, when you go to a, a one that's been around, mm. they'll stop and call all the different clubs out and they do get to do their dance, mm. do the group. So I'm like, we have so much similarities that we, you know, we think we're different, but the only thing that us, make us different is our thought process. Yeah. We're really the same. I mean, there's bullshit on the top and there's bullshit on the bottom, but it's good people on the top and there's good people on the bottom. And there's no reason why these two worlds shouldn't intertwine with each other. Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. But that, you know that that we can even go back way. We can go back to to politics. Then you know what I'm saying that the separates. You know, you got the Republicans and you got the Democrats. The, the Democrats got us thinking one way. You know, m mainly to stay broke. You know, right. stay broke, and the, and, the, and the Republicans want you to be rich and don't want to have nothing to do with broke people. You know, and it's it's just it, it it all starts. Somewhere, right. you know, but it's it's just like I said, it's been embedded in our heads. So many, so it starts at home. You know, we got we got to teach our kids, and then go for then then go reach it further out. Right, and I agree. Yeah. And the only way you'll be able to teach your kids is through showing them. Our people, black people, we learn from seeing. All that talking don't mean shit. We learn from seeing, showing. That's why the metanetta, all them symbols you see on the high Griffith wall, it was drawing. That's how we learn as people, while we talk with our hands. We learn from what we see, symbolize, and all that. So, with that being said, we need to start giving back, working together. Let's bridge these gaps between us and come together and be the greatness that's already 
inside of us. And like every other show, you know, I always say, email us right there. Let us know what you think, subjects we should talk about, whatever else, you know, what dates you got coming. Y'all know Mario, big time comedian. <laughs> you know, watch it out before you know you have an HBO special too. Well, what dates you got coming up? Uh, April. April 8th at Tommy T's, my birthday party. I want everybody to come out and uh, show your support. I got some some bangers on there. Hopefully my brother, Kirk Mahir, that y'all saw on the show, come out and do a, a, a set. Um, I got um, Rico the Great. I got Keon Poli, uh, Leroy Stanfield Jr. Uh, it's a special guest. Uh, uh, I got even Pooh Man performing at night. Uh, coming through to, 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 to do a, a, you know, the, the classic. He he doing his new stuff, but doing a classic fucking with Dank. Y'all remember that? Y'all y'all know what that is. <laughs> um, even though I don't smoke, but that's one of my favorite songs. Hey, that was uh, everybody's favorite song. Yeah. Fucking with Dank, fucking with Dank, <laughs> fucking with Dank. <laughs> that was everybody's favorite song. Uh, what I wanted to say before we before we before we end this, what I wanted to say to the parents: be the person you want your child to be. That, that that's that's if if you want if you want if you want to do something for your kids. And you want to show them um, uh, a guidance, the right kind of guidance, then be the person that you want your child to be so they can see that. Man, right there. That's a lot. That's a lot right there. And I, one thing I want to say, a friend of mine just lost his son last night. And I just want to send my condolence, my heart out to him, Christopher Ellis. I mean, he's a filmmaker like myself. We're both independent, trying to make it happen. And... You mean we both? I mean, he, he, I mean, I just I have no words to say. Just man, I love you, bro. And I mean, I don't know. What we to say. love you, man. We love you, man. I'm, I'm, I'll see you soon. Come visit you. Um, you know, I, I, it's nothing. Mourn how you want to mourn. I, I'm definitely gonna gonna give you the tightest hug I can. I, um, and uh, you know, we we just appreciate you, good father, man. You had a good son. It wasn't one of those uh, kids that was just doing something that they were just wrong place at the wrong time. May uh, God bestow peace and mercy and blessings upon his soul, uh, uh, man. Uh, like I said, I, I'm lost for words. I actually last night when I heard the news, I shed some tears because um, um, it just felt like it was I lost my son also. You know that's how hard it hit home. Um, so uh, another thing I ask you parents today, you know, um, you know, if text your text your child. Uh, uh, I don't care what you do. Go, go hug them today. Kiss them. You know, uh, just just tell them you love them, man. Because you never know. You know, life is short. You never know. You know, nobody wants to bury their child. Your child's supposed to bury you. You know, so please, you, you um, please let's stop the violence and um, and and let's stop this stop snitching campaign. You know, if if you if you, if you know anything about this murder, please speak up. And if you know any, about any murder, if you witness something, I'm, I'm not with that. I'm not with that. Uh, uh, not 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 snitch. I'm, if I see you murder somebody, I'm telling. I'm, I'm gonna tell you straight up. Mario's on camera right now. I tell you, I'm telling on your ass. Um, um, so we 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 have to we we have to be the voice in the community to to make things right. Yeah, yeah, I agree 100. percent And on that note, we out. See you next week. <laughs>